I want to know your connection with God. Um, <laughs> I know when you said that when you had courage to go to Gurudwara and ask for help, mm -hmm. and you said that ki, something in you changed. Yeah. What was that feeling? What was that strength at that moment that you got? I was like, okay, I need to do this. I need to like reach out to people and help them out. Mm -hmm. Funny thing is, I didn't even reach out to people. People started reaching out to me. But that day, I st I talk about it. I, I don't understand what happened to me that day. Because I see it as a, a the educational side of like, hey, maybe I was not mentally well. And I was having a breakdown. And I should have been in a psych ward. Because like, it was like a spiritual thing that happened with me, which I don't understand still. And I'm trying to understand. Um, so when I say like that quote, for example, um, and when I say that I went to the Gordora that day and bef in February, so February is going to be six years of the core movement mm -hmm. now. Oh, yeah. wow. On, on the 19th. Yeah. There we go. So it's coming up. Yeah, there you go. And, um, so on the 19th of 2019, I had that mental breakdown of mine where I said I was very suicidal and I was about to kill myself. Um, and at that time, there was no page of any sort. Uh, it was me testing God, you would say. I don't know how to explain it, but I questioned why my life has been the way it has when it came to sexual abuse. And I'm like, just give me a sign of some sort that I need to be in this world because I don't feel like I deserve to be in this world. And, um, like I keep going through things that I don't, I don't know why I'm going through. Maybe I deserved it. I don't know. At that time, my mental state was really, really bad. Um, and I had my dog with me, which is Gigi. And I'm like crying with her and like just having this mental breakdown and, that at that time in my life my dog was everything for me that was the closest um and I'm gonna explain this so uh this is what happened and I still don't understand it but this is what happened I had my dog and I'm crying I'm crying I'm crying I'm like give me a sign I want to start something so big that the world gets to know that this stuff happens and how we need to protect others like the, the mindset of mine was like really weird um, I was talking to God. I was seeing faces. I was um, I was seeing a lady on a horse <laughs> roaming around me, and I I I connect that with my pago now, to be honest. Oh, wow. But um, at that time, maybe there was a God giving you signs. Yeah, that's what I was. Yeah, maybe I don't know what it was. And then um, I was hearing drums. I was hearing I was hearing weird weird things, and I was like, "What's going on?" I'm like, "Hey." Did I talk to God? Like I legit, I felt like I had a conversation where he wasn't talking or she, I don't know what it was, but um, it was just me saying, give me a sign. And I actually tested it. I was like, my dog is the most precious thing. And at that time I had, I think the page had already kind of started. It was hush hush. And um, I was changing it to the core movement at that time. And that's the day when I changed it to the core movement. Um, because core kept coming up in my mind for some reason. Or like, you know, I was seeing Kara. Like I was seeing my daughter, my, my, like, like Babaji's face. Like it was just such a weird day that day. And then my dog was there with me. And I'm like, give me a sign. If you, if I make this movement, and those are words I'm saying, and the page wasn't even called the core movement. Mm. I want to make this movement so big that it helps everyone because I didn't get, get the help I needed. And these are the words I was saying. I'm like testing it. I'm like, you can take the most precious thing away from me, but give me this movement. And these are the words that are coming in my mind. And the most precious thing to me at that moment is my dog, mm. right? So... I still have pictures, uh, but my dog actually, like, went dead in front of me and um, literally, like, on the ground and had puke coming on the side, like, spit or whatever it was. Oh, wow. And there's still a mark on that carpet. Um, and you know what my reaction to that was at that time? And, again, mental breakdown. Um, I was like, Thank you, God, for giving me the sign. You've taken my dog. I'll I'll make this movement so big. The same day? It was the same day? 
It was the same day. I'm saying this to myself. And the 30 second, it was 30 seconds, but I felt like a, an hour to me. And my dog got up. I said that out loud and my dog got up and it was perfectly fine. And then I was like, what just happened? Like, dog, God just took my dog away. And now God just gave me my dog back. Like, what? And this is me. I never... I didn't like yes I believe in God now I do 100% I do but at that time I was testing it I was all over the place right and um yeah so that was a really weird experience for me and now even talking about it gives me jitters because I didn't understand the feeling I was getting and I don't understand why my dog just went dead and was back alive 30 seconds later wow. and now I I'm like was it a dream that day what was that day for me right and I don't I don't understand it to be honest and um, I'm trying to I talk to people that are more spiritual to get an understanding of what happened to me that day why I was a certain way why I was acting like that why I was seeing certain faces um, or maybe I just thought I was so burnt out and like my experience was so horrible that it all bottled up in mm -hmm. me that I just exploded but that day is when I went to the Gurdwara and um, right when I went in, um, the strength, I, I just wanted to go matatik because I was so, sorry, I was so out of it. Like, I just wanted to go matatik. And I was like, I was just about to kill myself. Now I now I feel like I need to go to the Gordwara. So I'm just going to go and I'm going to matatik and everything's fine. Clearly something's wrong with me. And I'm going to go get checked up by a doctor <laughs> is what I said to myself. And then I went and matatik and... I went from such a weak, weak, weak-minded person, vulnerable, like, you know, just all over the place, so confused, to coming out, and all of a sudden, I'm happy. I am, like, just a split second, everything just changed. I have energy, and I'm like, okay, what? What happened to me was horrible. It's not my fault, and da-da-da-da-da. Within that, like, one hour everything just changed for me and then I did go to the doctor and I got checked up and they're like oh you're probably just having anxiety and you probably just need to sleep and if you want you can take medication but with your reports and everything's going on you're normal you're fine um it's just your experience um get some counseling and this and this and that and then I was like okay and then the next day I changed it to the core movement and then my page just blew up and then after that every person was reaching out for support and then I just case by case kept going eventually turned it into an organization um now it's a society in bc uh with thousands and thousands of volunteers all over the world and uh, yeah that was that was my experience wow <laughs> which people don't understand and probably think i'm like not mentally well but yeah i can't lie that is what happened with me that day and i'm trying to understand it still and hopefully one day I understand or maybe it was just a bad dream that went good. And I think God, if I truly believe this and um, I literally believe this, God put special people in special time for their talents to come out. Yeah, I think that, I think that sometimes <laughs> too. I'm like, maybe this was just my path and what I was supposed to do. Um, like, you know, even like I recently went to India and just me even needing to go to India, like, why do I need to? I have a life here. Like, um, I have my full time job. I like, why do I need to? I, it's just that kitsch that like, you know, like, hey, there's people there waiting to talk mm. to me or wanting to see me because they're going through a state that's really bad in the UK. Like, um, there was a few cases that I felt like I just had to be there and just go hug that mm. person. Because it's just something I just need to do. And my family sometimes, the husband sometimes, he's like, Ugh, I don't know what is going on with you. Like, what it is. I'm like, I, so, I can't control it. Like, it's just something. This is my path. And this is what I just need to do. And this is my second life. So for me, like, for me, this is, this is it. I was someone else before. Now I'm someone else now. 